do what reference I to... science sometimes. Oh, you do reference science. You do reference science. At times. However, however, the past interactions that I've just seen do not show a person that has any kind of statistical bearing on their opinion. To they you. don't show anyone who has an objective opinion. To you. They don't show anyone who is able to logically Man, reason. To you, though, all you it shows is, That's to you. all it shows is, from the outside perspective, all it shows Man. is someone Man. who clearly has a big stick Man. up there behind. And I think if you're trying to add value to us as women, I think you should take time to listen and to adhere to what is being said rather than listening to respond as what you're doing now and as what I've watched you doing. I don't understand. Don't understand how we've got here. Honestly, don't understand how we've got here. Telling me this woman has never seen me. She's never sat down with me. She does not know how I am off camera, but she has psychoanalyzed me. What? 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 <laughs> That's crazy. So in terms of this interaction here between her and Yoli, Yoli tried to kill her credibility yeah. by saying that all her advice is not scientific based. Yeah. It's not statistically based. I mean, based you saw that anything. that that conversation was going to lead there mm -hmm. by her coming into the thing. Oh, I'm a master student and whatever. You knew that that was going to be the approach in trying to attack her academically. Now your live came up on my FYP and I find you so intriguing. I'm a psychology master student and you're a textbook case of delusions of grandeur. I don't know if you know what that is but I love to study people like you. And then, you know what I mean? So it's like, not like well, she's just trying to, she's just, she's just saying that your advice is not based on anything concrete. So we cannot trust you. That's all she Like said. you're not, you're not taking it from a source that we can all rely on. Yes. Like that we can all trust. Yes. Uh, so if I just summarize what you said, your job is, your job is to give people advice on the dating world how i see it so and what is your opinion based on on what premise do you use your opinion i said is it i'm a matchmaker on? I no, no, no. hold on i'm asking a question i didn't i don't think you heard my question correctly the the way in which you're analyzing women or helping them or giving them advice on what premise do you base that on is it personal opinion is it experience is it doctoral studies is it statistics what are you basing your your um, advice on? But that's what I'm saying. So what would that source be? So, a book? Uh, whatever. Uh, it will probably be like books or even popular articles and articles that have been accepted by the general scientists. Well, she Nikki, does say, Unoni like did that. say that she does kind of look at those things as well. So she did kind of. Yeah, so she, she, she did try to discredit her credibility. Yeah. So your evidence or your advice is not based on anything that would you would deem scientific, yes or no? At times. Can, do you agree that opinion if cannot say, be scientifically based? Yes I or mean, no? I mean, I could wake up and say that um, men are more sexually inclined because they have a higher testosterone rate. Um, so okay. Than so, so I do what reference, I reference to science sometimes. Oh, you do reference science. You do reference science. At times. However, however, the past interactions that I've just seen do not show a person that has any kind of statistical bearing on their opinion. To they you. don't show anyone who has an objective opinion. To you. They don't show anyone who is able to logically Man, reason. To you, though, do All you it shows is, That's to you. All it shows is, from the outside perspective, all it shows is someone who clearly has a big stick up there behind. And I think if you're trying to add value to us as women, I think you should take time to listen and to adhere to what is being said rather than listening to respond as what you're doing now. And yeah. Oh, I have one more like criticism. Well, one more thing that I was just thinking, uh, I don't know, kind of shaky about this one. Right? Mm. Is she married? Well, no. Is she, is she like in a relationship, on some relationship and everything? Not that we, anyone knows of, no. So those kind of things also to me was like, why would I listen to you? 
you're not living the life like you what's the you. success you're but like it's like, like well but then people can argue like a, a psychologist has to have experienced everything that you know no, psychologist, her people come to no, her you no, get what i mean no, it's, no. you don't you don't necessarily have to have no. lived the life for you to be able to no a, psycholo- a psychologist is trained and uses scientific principles and statistics to um, help she also has her training but, maybe the streets or whatever no nah, nah. streets is streets are subjective everybody experiences the streets differently so my whole point about that is that i cannot really listen to well that's me personally i can't yeah. listen to somebody who ain't done it that's me personally if if i want if i want advice from somebody about how to become wealthy i need to speak to somebody who's wealthy if i want advice from somebody about how to have a successful marriage i need to speak to somebody who's been married for 10 plus years well i, I, I would think I speak to just somebody put that single? vagueness where we can assume she does date high value men I because don't she care. was about she how them. She's always surrounded by high value because she tells she, she asks she, she asks all these women, "Do you want to get married?" Right. So she's trying to lead them to like. Okay. But let's also be realistic about certain things. She asks women things that she knows she can't have. So it's then like no that's why we can't. There's no. So you one of the people that be like she should not have a say in this in, in this topic because she's transgender. I'm not talking about transgender. But but like that's also a factor. <laughs> no, I get that. Yeah, yeah, all I'm saying is, <laughs> no, all I'm saying, no, all I'm saying she is, I get that with transgender as well. All I'm saying is, she ain't living the life she preaching, so I can't listen to her like that. Okay. She's basically she's basically a scammer or whatever. Uh, what do you call these people? Like oh, yeah. um, priests that don't live the life, or whatever. I don't know what you a call it. A charlatan or a scammer or whatever. Yeah. She's basically doing that shit. Cause she's not living the life that she preaches. She doesn't actually, she hasn't experienced what she's talking about. But she's out here talking so confidently, like she knows what she's talking about. But that's what—that's the biggest argument in the whole situation. That's why a lot of women also argue. So her shit is theory like, based as well. Yes. But then she's busy telling you, no, take, she's busy telling you, oh, you know, I'll take your theories or whatever. Oh, then. Babe, there's a long oh, queue. I don't want to interact with someone oh, that does that. You just that proved answer. all my theories correct. Thank you. Okay, well, I don't give a shit. Oh, I, I don't much. actually give a shit. You can go sleep with your Look theories. I actually don't you give are. a shit about your theories. You are so If you bothered. can't come down and speak properly, then boots, no, get I, out. No, I give a shit. It's You're not, not projecting. My fault. That's it's called not my projection. Fault you came on. Here. You're not projecting. <laughs> it's clear projection. I'm okay, able to listen. Okay, I'm able to hear I'm opinion. Because I, I think order. she's saying also, but not, this is real life stuff I'm talking about. But you're in not real life, men want this. In real life, but you're not you know, li- you're not living. It. I mean, well, she doesn't have to live yes, to you, know you that haven't bagged, you haven't bagged that one percent man. You haven't married this one percent man. Well, we can't assume kept, that. You haven't kept this one percent man. So why are you out here telling people uh, about stuff that you haven't even done yourself? That's that's one. That's probably my biggest. Well, her market is definitely not women that already have had that guy, whatever, whatever. Her market is women that are struggling in relationships, struggling to get relationships. She's part of them. And she's trying to help them. She's one of them, Jen. She's one of them. Maybe she's got other things, other fights other things Um, so that's my biggest criticism about that that's my biggest criticism man you don't you don't live the life you're preaching unless somebody can correct me but i also i also do agree in that aspect and also like this thing of women and rating women and whatever now we hate to see that coming from another woman that is very sensitive for women hey and we definitely don't want to hear that coming from another woman like you rather hear from a man oh, we expect it to come from y'all in any case because you guys have been doing that it's not like we we love to hear it but then we can accept it a little bit because i mean probably the reality you, you ought to it's, be rated you ought to be rated so you want to be lied to on top of that no it's not that ask, we want to be lied to that, that's the whole thing about this whole that's why they were shitting on kevin samuels as well and also her so like your rating this thing of rating people is wrong whatever whatever but they ask to but be they ask to be rated so much- I, well if you do put yourself in that position of wanting to be rated then that's your own issue i don't come on here to rate myself 
people do ah. come in and ask me to rate them then i rate them ah. But a lot of people that do have the issue with it is people who didn't put themselves up for rating. People who are watching other women being rated and being like, "Hi, hey, but based on what?" Nah, don't be. This person asked to be rated. She got a. She got a yeah. rating from that person. And why are you outraged? Getting why are you outraged for somebody else? I nah, don't do that, man. I don't do that. Her ratings are kind of fair. Her ratings are fair. Mm. Like she doesn't sell people dreams. She, she generally, yeah. she's generally quite accurate with her rating. And what's sad is that people who are successful in these things are people who stroke people's egos, if you hear what I mean. Yeah, like, that, yeah. who usually lie to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those people are the ones that actually make a lot of money out of this. And I think she's not trying to be that person. In fact, she wants to be close to as truthful as possible. Yeah, it's, But then, it's not mistake. Whatever she's doing, it's working out for her because now she's, she's building quite a big name for herself mm -hmm. online. People love her or hate her. Yeah. I think at the end of the day everybody's talking about Noni. Mm -hmm. On that TikTok, if you come on that TikTok, on that TikTok, everybody's talking about Noni. Just... Yeah, well in terms of this interaction, I do I do think Yoli kinda got to her a bit and also yeah. did kinda like discredit her a little bit because she couldn't really answer her questions like that. She couldn't really answer her questions. You think so? Mm-hmm. Because she was, because her main thing is like, what are you basing your advice on off of? And she couldn't answer that. But she kind of answered it. No, she was like, uh, sometimes I add, I add statistics there and there. Yeah, but, but then she she's never, also like, well, she it, never said it also depends on how I feel. Ma'am, I'm a matchmaker and I analyze the dating scene by reading up papers. I look at articles. I, I interact with men and women on a daily. Okay, also, can I stop you there? Can I stop you there? So your evidence or your advice is not based on anything that would you would deem scientific, yes or no? At times. You guys just let us know what you think about this whole situation. Yeah, let us know. Like, do you agree with the things Donny says? If you don't, or are you like half half into it? Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll check you guys in the next one.